We know that that crash happened on August 19th and now a month later we're learning what the NTSB has to say. Now this remains an ongoing investigation and they're not able to tell us much. However, they did mention that that truck burned for hours and they do have an interest in figuring out these lithium ion batteries that continue to catch fire. Electrical vehicles catching fire on roadways. In these incidents, tall flames or huge clouds of smoke can be seen while crews work to get these situations under control. On August 19th, an electric powered truck veered off the road and went up in flames after crashing into trees near Immigrant Gap in Placer County. Aerial resources were brought in while crews worked the fire. In the end, the truck was reduced to nothing. The NTSB just released its initial report into the crash, breaking down its preliminary findings in this latest report. Here are some of the key takeaways. The report mentions how emergency responders used about 50,000 gallons of water to put out the fire and cool down the batteries. I-80 was closed for 14 to 15 hours to ensure batteries were at a safe temperature to retrieve the vehicle and prevent the spread of fire to vegetation. The truck was then monitored for 24 hours and the batteries did not reignite. When we asked the NTSB why they decided to open an investigation into this crash, they couldn't say much but told us they've had a number of lithium eye on battery crash fires over the years and wanted to evaluate potential new risks. They also said they launch an investigation when they identify a potential concern that could have system wide or national safety implications. We spoke with Sacramento Fire who says they're now using an app to help guide them through crashes so they don't cause the EV to burst into flames. So there's actually an app that we use and it goes through the manufacturers and the makes of these vehicles and that way we can see for your typical vehicle accident, if we have extrication, we have to cut someone out of the vehicle, where to cut, where not to cut. So it's a, basically a safety Rolodex for us. Now the NTSB is looking to determine a probable cause, a probable cause they hope will lead to safety recommendations. Reporting from Sacramento, covering local news that matters, Claudette Stefani, Fox 40 News.